The U.S. housing market, after years of demise and slow growth following the 2008 recession, real estate is back in the headlines. The median home price today stands at a record-breaking 413000 Alongside this price appreciation, mortgage rates have recently pushed past 5%. These conditions have created a hectic market where non-cash buyers are on average paying over $2,200 a month for their mortgages, almost 30% higher than last year. For many, affording a home has simply become impossible. The big question is on everyone's mind. When is this bubble going to pop? You would think with sky-high rates and record-breaking price increases, the answer is simple. After all, who can possibly buy up an average home with a $2,200 mortgage when the median household in America earns $68,000 a year before tax? Following these stats, you and your household members would need to give up over half your income to afford the average home in America right now. Looking from the outside, the situation looks quite obvious. There is a massive bubble and any minute now, the housing crash should start. But unlike others on the platform who have managed to convince thousands to hold off for over two years while prices have continually just gone up and up, this channel offers an alternative look on things. If you are willing to put emotion to the side and look at the latest data, this video is for you. We know as of this week that according to the government, inflation is at a 40-year high, 8.4% to be exact. We also know that because of data manipulation, this number is likely much worse than what they're actually telling us. Today, investors face a dilemma. Because inflation is at its highest point in 40 years, the Fed is going through a phase of aggressive monetary tightening, and top firms predict stock market returns under 5% until 2035. Restructuring your portfolio has never been more difficult or more crucial. So where can you turn? Well, you all know that I've been advocating for alternatives for years, and they've done pretty well for me. It seems like people are catching up. A recent JP Morgan report declared, alternative assets are no longer optional. In light of this new normal, certain platforms have arisen giving access to the top alternative asset classes. There's one in particular that seems like a no-brainer to me. It's called Masterworks. Masterworks.io has solidified itself as the platform for investing in contemporary art. They let you access their exclusive investments from names like Banksy, Monet, and other iconic artists for just a fraction of what billionaires pay to purchase. Because roughly two-thirds of billionaires allocate between 10 and 30% of their overall portfolio to art, in part to diversify, and because it's a natural inflation hedge, it makes sense. After all, contemporary art prices outpaced the S&P 500 total return by 164% from 1995 to 2021 and have exhibited the lowest correlation to equities of nearly any major asset class. Since 2020, Masterworks has sold three paintings, with each returning over 30% net IRR to investors, and their new offerings usually sell out in hours. 30 plus percent. That's wild. If you want to get in on it early, all you have to do is go to masterworks.io, create an account, check out what they have, and invest in their offerings. And my subscribers get to skip their waitlist using the special link in my bio. Now back to real estate. Cutting through the BS, it's obvious most experts believe that a crash is coming. Now they have been wrong for well over two years, and the reasons why are pretty simple yet shocking. I'll show you real data. If we head over to redfin.com, we can get a glimpse of what is happening out there. Their latest report published on March 31st has this very important chart. It shows 2020, 2021, and 2022 median sale prices plotted on the graph with three lines representing the three years. You can see that each year since 2020, the price begins rising in February, cools off in the summer, and then drops off a bit in the winter with the exception of 2020 because of the pandemic. Now you would think that because we had an insanely hot market in 2021 with prices going from 315000 to 355000 we would see a slowdown in 2022. But as you can tell, prices are rising even faster than last year. Starting in mid-February, we have seen the median price jump straight up. 17% higher than last April. So why are we seeing this? Well, if we scroll down, we will get to the most important chart, the active listings. It's the same setup as last time with the past three years plotted as three different lines. As you can see, we started 2020 with just over 900,000 active listings. That number dropped off severely towards the end of that year, and in 2021, it reached the bottom in late March when inventory stood at 600,000. Now here's the interesting thing. Last year, it looked like we were headed towards a recovery in inventory levels when we started building back up in the summer. But as the end of the year approached, once again, we saw a massive crash in active listings. 
we went to a record low of 475,000 in March of 2022. Now, instead of this number rapidly rising right now, just as it did last year, it's flat. In fact, it's 22% less than last year, and last year was already a record low. The truth is, inventory is so low that it doesn't matter what interest rates are or how expensive homes are getting. I know that's a controversial statement to make, but hear me out. People are still buying because every home for sale has dozens of potential buyers putting in bids. You can see that in the stats too. 54% of homes listed go over the asking price. Now you may be saying, well, yes, we have an inventory crisis, but the recent developments in rates haven't materialized yet in the markets, meaning that maybe it'll take a few more weeks for the effects of high interest rates to change the market. And yes, that's definitely a great argument, but we have to look to more recent weekly reports to get a clue about the near future. For example, this Realtor.com report published today, April 14th, has data as recent as last week. It shows that despite high interest mortgages, new listings are up only 1%. Active listings continue to be down, prices are up, and worst of all, the time spent on the market, a measure of demand is six days faster, meaning that homes are flying off the shelf. This marks the 17th straight week of double-digit price gains. So what are the experts saying? After all, the average mortgage payment just went up 30% year over year. That has to do something to the market. There's no way it continues this pace up, right? Well, this recent report by Zillow agrees. Most experts on the panel have stated they expect the market to return to pre-pandemic 2019 norms, at least in terms of inventory, by 2024. That's still two years away. However, while they expect growth to slow, they are suggesting a 9% price appreciation instead of the double-digit price appreciation we've been seeing in years past. In summary, that just means that prices will go up, but not as fast as they've been going up in recent years. That doesn't sound like a crash to me. According to Redfin economists, home price growth will start to slow in the coming months. Fewer people are starting online home searches and applications for mortgages are down. If we look at leading indicators of home buying activity, these are factors that are supposed to predict the dip in prices before they happen, we see a few things. Let's go over that real quick before I make my final shocking point. Year-to-date growth in touring activity was 16 percentage points behind the same period in 2021, indicating that fewer people are going to see houses. At the same time, Google searches for homes for sale were down 9.7% year over year during the week ending March 19th. And finally, the Redfin Home Buyer Demand Index rose 5% year over year during the week ending March 27th, the smallest gain since the week ending January 30th. Now you may read all this and say, well, there it is. There are the signs. Now with rates approaching 6%, there's absolutely no way this doesn't crash. I disagree, and here's why. Now I'm just a YouTuber with no actual real estate experience, but so far, I've been right, and I believe I will continue to be right. If we go back in history to 1981, mortgage rates hit 18.3%. They didn't fall below 10% until 1986. In that time frame, the US actually went through a rough recession. And despite all of that, housing prices did this. They rose from 67,000 to 95,000. That's a 43% rise in five years in the midst of an 18% interest rate environment and a recession. Now add in the fact that today's borrowers are healthy with high FICO scores and we don't have a recession, why would this time be any different? In fact, all signs point to it being worse. At least in the 80s, the Fed was openly trying to calm the market by raising interest rates to absurd levels. We now have trouble raising them 0.25%, let alone 20%. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments below. And no, I'm not a real estate agent or a real estate investor profiting off higher and higher prices. I'm simply looking at the data and generating an opinion. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed it.